Hey guys, and welcome back. Here's a long-awaited tool video I've been promising you. This is gonna be a long video. So if you got time, stick around and check out the tools I use. Yeah, I use an old Craftsman Sears box. It was my dad's, he gave it to me. It holds very fond memories. Now before I begin, yes, I know it's dirty. I'm gonna clean it up. And I'm gonna let you guys know that my tool organization might not be suited for you. I don't like to shadow my tools. It's more of organized chaos. But trust me, I know where everything goes and everything has its place. A little bit of cleaning with some alcohol and let's get into it. Starting off with the basics, let's talk about this ratcheting screwdriver. Made by Snap-on, very handy. I've had it for a very long time. As you can see, it's been beat up pretty bad. It has a nice little compartment in the back for uh, bits. Here's the little counterpart to it, the stubby. Nice for tight places and a removable shaft. Moving along, you'll see the flathead screwdriver right next to it. That's also a snap-on. By the way, guys, it took me years to acquire all these tools. I didn't buy them all at once. I use all kinds right there. That's a Craftsman. And here's my uh, good old Faithful. That was my dad's as well. I use that all the time. That's a snap-on as well. Don't be scared to mix and match your tools. A nice spool of safety wire. And again, once again, a snap-on safety wire pliers. Very handy. I highly recommend these. Even though it says blue point on there, it is still made by snap-on. They are reversible. Extremely good. They didn't teach me about this one until I was done with the EMP school, but yeah, now it's one of my best tools. I'll make a safety wire video for you guys one day. That's a valve stem remover. Moving on, we're looking at some extensions for ratchets. These are for 3 8 drive. Once again, a variety of manufacturers, everything from SK to Snap-on to Craftsman. A variety of sizes and length but they all have their special purpose and the reasons I got them for. Alongside it, your quarter inch extensions, right there. Also in a variety of manufacturers. These are very handy right here. The one with the little swivel heads and the snap-ons are really nice too because they got a grip at the base. This is a really nice combination wrench. 5 16 to a quarter. I have one that is snap-on and one is craftsman. Obviously, I enjoy the snap-on more because it's got very thin walls and it's got very tight angles, as you can see right there. You can get into really uh, tight spots with that one. It's a specialty tool. This one is a really nice tool. I keep this in my pouch as well. It's made by Nipex and it's basically an adjustable wrench, but as you can see, it comes in very handy. Definitely one of my go-to tools I use all the time. Right above it is a breaker bar. And right beside it is also a couple of adapters in the universal joint. This right here is a wire cutters made by Snap-on once again. And then right next to it Craftsman angled uh, needle nose pliers. Very handy. And this right here some channel locks made by Craftsman as well. But I think Nipex makes them as well so very very handy. I also have this in my tool pouch. And last but not least, good old faithful right here, vice grip, needle nose. This is a lifesaver sometimes, very handy. And I got also the bigger brother right there of the channel lock. Now here's something really special, check these out. Believe it or not, these are actually tools for plumbers, they're plumbing tools. This one was made by Rigid and it's angled, as you can see. You would ask yourself, uh, Stig, why do you have plumber's tools in you know, aircraft tools because aircraft have plumbing as well. Definitely comes in handy when doing engine work, taking off big hydraulic lines or fuel lines on those big engines. Highly recommend those. As well as some crescent wrenches right there. Your standard picks for taking out O-rings or trying to get things out wherever they're stuck. Uh, these right here, these are really special. I call these uh, speed wrenches. I can't for the life of me remember where I bought these. It was a very long time ago, but the concept behind this is basically acts like a uh, ratchet, but on an open end wrench. You can look closely, you probably see the manufacturer's name, but I can't even remember. Definitely got my good use out of these. They're, they're pretty handy. Up next, let's take a look at the socket sets. So we got 3 8 inch drive. Uh, shallow as well as a deep right there. All my sockets are 12 point. That is basically standard on aircraft maintenance. The majority of uh, nuts and bolts are 12 point. Along with the 3 8 th these are the quarter inch sockets. Again, 12 point. Notice they're all craftsmen. These are very special. These are universal sockets. I highly recommend these and definitely don't skimp on this either by Snap-on or SNK. 
it costs a pretty penny, but trust me, it's worth every cent of this. Those definitely get into some tight spaces on engines. Next, let's get into the ratchets. These are 3 8 inch ratchets, Craftsman, and a snap-on one with a swivel head, and a half inch right there, Craftsman as well for heavy duty work. On the other side, we have our quarter inch ratchets. Once again, snap-on. These are really good to have. When it comes to ratchets, I put my faith definitely into Snap-on. They make a really good product. Very fine tooth ratchets and they work very well. As a backup, I got a Craftsman, also nice. But this one is the one I really wanna show you. The complete swivel head, look at this thing. This is one of my favorite ratchets. Uh, I've used this a ton, so highly recommend it if you can afford this one. On the side here, I have a variety of sockets right here. Everything ranging from 1 and 1 8 to 5 16, so just various sizes I've collected over the years. Things that I've always needed or I come across that just is useful on the line. A set of ignition wrenches for interior work or various amounts of jobs comes in handy. And a handy dandy dead blow hammer just in case, you know, things don't want to work. When in doubt, hit it with a hammer. <laughs> just kidding. A set of Allen keys, very handy. And these are some of my favorite wrenches right here, which I gotta say, and I'm sure most mechanics will agree with me. A set of gear wrenches. These are the stubby version right here. Incredibly useful. I also got the standard version right here. Trust me guys, these is a must to get. Gear wrench, definitely a good product. I also got a set of wrenches, just regular snap-on, um, in a variety of sizes. Again, I'm sorry if it looks unorganized and a mess, but trust me, it makes sense in my head. So, to each his own, no judgment here. Once again, I mix match, snap on, craftsman, gear wrench, whatever works for me. Remember guys, it's not the tool, it's the person that's using them. Now let's take a look at what I always carry on my hip, my pouch. I got a lot of the same tools, but remember, I don't carry this big toolbox around me all the time. Majority of the time, it's my pouch that's on my hip. I got another one of these ratcheting screwdrivers, but this one I modified so the shaft can come out. It's more compact version of it. This is a very special screwdriver. This one's actually very hard to find. Almost nobody can find it. On eBay, it costs an arm and a leg. It's a reversible, but incredibly useful. It's one of my favorites. I use it all the time. I enjoy the pushback in the background right there. That's a fun one. As a backup light, I got this little thing that can hang off my shoulder. It's magnetic. If I can put it anywhere, I use it. It's a good, good little backup light. I can't remember the name of these, but these come in very handy in interior work. Forceps, I think? Correct me if I'm wrong. Another set of ignition wrenches, some Allen keys, and the most important, crazy glue. <laughs> That's right. Just kidding, guys. It's mostly interior work stuff. Crazy glue holds a lot of things together on the interior. On the side, I got a set of feeler gauges right here, just in case, you never know. It comes in handy once in a while, so I just keep it with me. Now you're saying that's a lot of stuff to carry, but I'm just used to it and I don't like running back and forth from the shop. That little, that little small little ratchet right there, sometimes it comes in handy again on interior work and keep a little bottle of uh, bits. I recently picked this one up. This is a fun little tool. I don't know why I got it, but it looked pretty cool. So you never know, it comes in handy as well. As in regards to the pouch, the actual pouch that I keep all these tools in, it's made by Tough Belt. An incredible company. I love it. I use it all the time. It's got a little belt clip. It just hooks on and I'm ready to go. I got another bigger box in a hanger, which has got bigger tools, but I'll save that for another day. After everything's said and done, I put everything back together and organize it in my fashion because that's the way I like it. To each his own. If you're just starting out, trust me, you will collect all the tools that you need eventually throughout your career. As my good old dad told me before, you can have all the tools in the world, but the most important tool you'll have is your mind. That's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it all and um, ask you questions. As for me, I have to go back to work. See you later.